Right, whenever I see a new pickup truck, I can't tell if, because the extended cab has gotten longer than an old pickup truck, if the bed has also gotten shorter, because the beds are starting to look ridiculously short, like they're not even a truck bed anymore or not. So I compared it to my old truck and did a little research, and here's what I came up with. Right, this is my 1995 Chevy Silverado extended cab pickup. It's got seats in the back, but no extra door, and the bed is 77 and a half inches long, which is six foot five and a half, which is long enough to put a dirt bike in it. Um, my dirt bike, I have to turn a little bit sideways to get it in there with the gate shut. But I really wouldn't want a shorter bed than that. So let's take a look at the size of the beds that are on the new extended cab pickup trucks. All right, here are the actual numbers. So my truck bed is 77 and a half inches long, 1995 version. So if we look at the, and these, these new trucks are all between fifty and sixty thousand dollars to begin with. That's a lot of money. But the length of the beds: sixty-nine point three inches on the Chevy, sixty-seven point one on the Ford, sixty-seven point four on the Ram, and sixty-six point seven on the Toyota. So that Toyota is eleven inches shorter, almost a foot shorter than my old Chevy truck in terms of a bed. So the passenger compartment is getting bigger, but the bed is getting smaller and the truck is getting a lot less trucky as time goes on.